What's the most toxic thing a leader at your company has ever said to you? I'll go first. So I'm eating. So you guys, excuse me for being partially off of camera. Hopefully you guys can hear me clearly. Um, <clears throat> I don't need you guys to see me smacking or to see me, you know, in that position. Because it's kind of tacky. But I know that I would have forgotten to record this. So I just said, let me stop and record it anyway. So the most toxic thing that ever happened to me was I was working at a job and I was making like $8 and some change. I was a new mom. My daughter was probably 18, 19 months. Um, this is back in 2010, 2011. And I wanted to um, work because I just wanted to bring in some type of income. And I didn't want to try to live off of government funds because, of course, it's not enough. And I was getting food stamps and I still was staying in a food stamp um eligibility which is good because I was able to put food in the house on myself my family and you know just be able to do my share but the people in the office I was the only African-American in the office and the other people were white tea and um they were kind of a little bit on the racist side and I could tell because of the things that they would say they would try to be careful what they said but I could tell they were racist um it was a small town, and like I said, um, it was not a lot of African Americans in that town, to be honest. Um, we were definitely a minority by all means, and I was hired. Now, they're saying that, oh, people who get food stamps are just trying to live off the government, and they're, and they're lazy, and they don't want to work, and they just want to get our money, and they they just want to sit around and... and they're uneducated, this, then, the third. Mind you, I'm sitting there degreed, skilled. I'm not from the hood. Um, proper grammar, everything. Proper work ethic, everything. Just, just, you know, very proper. I've always been very proper. I can be hood when I want to like anybody else, of course. But I wasn't being hood there. So, um... My food is getting cold. I'm, I'm trying to hurry up. So <clears throat> I was like, oh, oh, okay. So this is what they think about people who get assistance. And so I said, well, what, what is the person that get assistance? So you guys think that they are all uneducated and they are just trying to shut the system. They don't want to work. And I just said, well, yeah, of course. I mean, why? Well, they can sit at home and... Get free food and this, that, and the third. I said, oh, okay. I said, it's funny that they can sit at home and get free food and do nothing because I sit here with you guys every day and I don't do that. And they were like, what? I said, oh, yeah, I get food stamps. You could hear a pin drop. A pin drop in that office. It When I tell you it was quiet the entire day because they assume that people who get food stamps were lazy, didn't want to work, and just leeching off the government. But that says a lot about your company because why aren't you paying me more, even though you know I'm worth it? You're paying me less than $8, and I qualify for food stamps, and I'm working at your company. So who does it speak volumes for, me or you? You talk about a toxic environment? Yo, that was a toxic environment. And furthermore... Um, it was election year. So they would constantly talk about how they couldn't stand Obama. They didn't want Obama to be reelected. This, that, and the third. And Blase Squase and just have all this hatred for Obama. Sitting up there in the office with a black person who voted for Obama. And when they tried to have the discussion with me, because I don't really discuss political things at work. They um, were like, well, what made you vote for him? I said, what made, him vote, what made me vote for him is because when I was unemployed and getting unemployment, he extended that for me before I started working here. And I was able to take care of my child because if I hadn't been <clears throat> gotten that extension, I wouldn't have been able to take care of my child. I said, and she's the most important thing to me out of anything. And she's the reason that I'm here now. She's the reason why I show up every day. And then I wasn't even working full time. I was working part time. <clears throat> she's the reason why I show up. She's the reason why I do my job well. And the reason why I try very hard. 
not because I want to sit here, collect food stamps, and be on government assistance. So not only were they talking trash about people who get assistance, but they were talking trash, political, discussing political things in the office when everybody knows that's very unprofessional to discuss your political choices at work and to bring politics into the workplace like that. And by the way, this was the Barbie Insurance Agency in Crestview, Florida. Don't even know if they still exist anymore, but last time I checked, they didn't. Isn't karma a B? Hmm.